Hello. Hi. This is I don't know. My show, not his. Um, <laughs> so to, and, and what is it? The last episode of I don't know. Yes, we're putting it to an end. Yep, it's going to die. It will rarely come back for um, analysis, which will be special editions. I don't know that, is gone. the Joey of podcasts. No, it's not actually. It's 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 more like the Christmas special because it will come back for specials. Ah, um, so we're not fully ending it. No, we're not fully ending it, but we're on hiatus. Um, we're on hiatus. Yes, for like we are. Eight years, <laughs> like Bruce Wayne. Hopefully, I'm not still doing this. Eight years. Um, <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> God, you'll be like 24. Please. No, I won't. I'll be eight. Um, but so you're no. zero. Yes. Um, today What's I need call? to rant about... Rant. About? Certain people that I know in real life... Mm. Do I know them? Yes. Do I not I'm like not them? I'm not saying names. Do I not like them? Do you like them somewhat? I like them sometimes and I hate them at the moment. Oh, so you know who I'm talking about? Yeah, I, I need to get this over with because I swear to God. Let me just say the first thing. I'm going to punch somebody in the face if they keep on bringing up Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> I will. I will do it. It's going to happen. Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> I will literally. I will. I, I literally. I'm on the verge of punching somebody. She's a good actress. We're not talking about that. Um, you, you, know, you don't like the personality. We're talking about how every single time somebody has to talk about something, it's always like, Jennifer Lawrence is a good role model for young people. And it's just like, do I need to know that? That's shade to me. I thought their parents had to be good role models. Well, I, I, think, I think people have got the word idol and role mm. model confused. But just saying... And automatically when people say that to me in front of me, I'm like, you shady little... She's a good idol. We're not getting into this. So um, say, I'm say sorry, we're wanted, not getting into this. No, say you want, say you wanted to be an actress. Yeah. She's a good. She's no, a good I would idol. tell them to go and look up Drew Barrymore. No, because Jennifer Lawrence is better than Drew Barrymore. Okay, I really just want you to really think of what you just said. Mm-hmm. Somebody who's been relevant for two years so, based on quirkiness. No, she cannot, isn't. Based on quirkiness, her relevance is based on quirkiness and being the anti girls like. And female like Jennifer Lawrence is that kind of um, female that you know who who gets their life out of being one of the boys, and it, they like they're like I'm not like other people. She said that in interviews. Watch it, but she is like other people because there's clearly people who are relating to her, and then she'll. Also, but never mind. We're not getting into that. We're not getting into her. Cause that's another story. She's a great When actress. people tell me that she's a good role model in front of me, I automatically think they're shading me. I automatically think that they are basically telling me because they know who are, um, my idols slash role models are. I feel like they're insulting me. When they say to me that she's a good role model for young people, I'm thinking, okay, I need to remove myself from the situation because if Miley gets brought up, I'm going to have to lecture them about how Miley is a better role model than Jennifer Lawrence. And I do not have the time at this point. I'm actually starting to giggle at the idiot, like the idiot, uh, uh, I can't pronounce the word, the stupidity of the people who like Jennifer Lawrence. No, they don't like her for her films. They don't. If Jennifer Lawrence was, I'm sorry to say this, if Jennifer Lawrence was pretty, if Jennifer Lawrence had... She is pretty. Be quiet, because she is not. I think she's pretty. No. I think She isn't. You You're allowed your opinion. Okay, in my opinion, she's okay. not. And the people who like her wouldn't like her if she was... Um, how do I say this? If she was, like, really... Miranda Kerr. Yes. Is that, that's a good example, I guess. If she, if Jennifer Lawrence had the body of Victoria's Secret model and she talked in a suburban American accent and she was, like, talking about how she is, like, a valley girl who loves L.A., mm-hmm. nobody would take her acting seriously, but they take it seriously because she fell down at the Oscars. She did. And how is falling down a place where you need to be serious? Oscars are a class act. A place where you... And I don't really care for movie award shows. But a place where you need to be serious... Mm. It's kind of required that you... Act with some kind of respect for the award show. Let me give you another example. Going back to 
my idol role model, let's just say this. People hated on Miley's VMA performance because she twerked and because she stripped down to um, underwear. But it's a, the VMAs. The VMAs have always been controversial. Madonna dry humped the stage. Um, Michael Jackson, Lisa Marie Presley made out in front of everybody. Um, Britney kissed Madonna. Britney stripped. Britney did the snake thing. Britney lip synced and was drunk on stage in 2007. It's the iconic. VMAs have always been that place where the performance. You don't is, need to be serious. It's like you need to be serious. But have fun. So Miley's performance for the VMAs is what the VMAs were known for, and the VMAs weren't doing that for years, for years because an, all they were inviting here's was an Taylor example. Swift. Here's an example. The VMAs are like the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and then the Oscars like the Dark Knight trilogy. You need to be serious. Yeah, because Dark Knight Rises was so serious. Um, but the thing is... It was very serious. At the Oscars... Morgan. Sammy, please. Oh. My, my, and the Oscars, <laughs> you do not trip up. No. You don't. And then in the interview, she's like, I tripped up because I couldn't be bothered to walk up the stairs in distress. But people will defend her. Okay, look, we're not talking about Jennifer, but it's the people who do that. This is the one thing And can we just conclude your segment about Jennifer Lawrence? She is a really good actress. I respect her work, but The Hunger Games is trash. The Hunger Games is great. The Hunger Games is you trash. You didn't see Catching Fire. I don't care, it's trash. First came Harry Potter, then came Twilight. Here comes The Hunger Games. We're moving on to that thing with Shailene Woodley. Um, so they're all trash. They're all trash to people who won't remember in five years, but they'll be I believe. Look, nostalgia is a bitch when it comes to remembering stuff. People I believe, will think it's good just because of I nostalgia. I believe The Hunger Games is the best out of those bunch, though. People still buy Jay-Z's albums because of nostalgia. <laughs> that doesn't mean they're good. I think that The Hunger Games are the best out of that bunch, though. Out of that like bunch, Harry Potter is clearly the best. Money-wise as well. Um, Money-wise so far. Think well, about Hunger it. Hunger Games though. won't make stuff because people don't pay for Catching movies anymore. Catching Fire. 860 million. They don't million. pay for movies yeah, anymore. They do. Really? Yeah, they do. Really? Yeah, they do. Really? Yeah, they do. I think most people just wait for it to come on Netflix. Yeah, and you need to pay for Netflix. A lot cheaper than the movie with the popcorn and the milkshake. Morgan, and the Morgan, Morgan, people go to the movies. Okay. Nobody goes to the movies. Just like, nobody... It says about it. Just like nobody went to Blockbusters. Um, <gasps> it's a difference, Morgan. There's a big that's difference. just one thing that's annoyed me this week. Another thing that's annoyed me this week. Will, will people who are opinionated... Let people have their ever opinions? No. Well, people who are opinionated stop lecturing people about mm. having opinions yeah, cause I and was, then rant about their opinion. Yeah, because I was talking to someone the other day about a certain film. Called and Philomena. I thought, yeah, and I thought one of the characters were quite a one-note character. It was Judy Dench's character. And then they had Judy to Dench lecture the me for, for 15 minutes. 45 minutes. Had. Something like that. But of how I am wrong. And I just wanted to leave. I, I wanted to shoot myself in the head. I'm so look. I wasn't there when that happened, but if I was there, I would have said stop it because it's getting retarded. That's happened a lot with this person. This person who you're talking about also wanted to lecture me. Let's get into a little, little, little sensitive subject. Not for me, but for the person in general. I really do hope they discover this. <laughs> um, you know, maybe they'll come to the exhibition. Um, <laughs> but, um, maybe write about how this. In their opinion, it's not a good podcast. Um, <laughs> and I'll write back and say it, it is. But going on to this, why do people have this misconception? Obviously, people who are listening, I, they don't know me face to face. But no, if they listen to my shows, you can sort of get to get a um, feel of what I'm about. Now, um, I've been lectured about how apparently um, I don't need to worry about stuff in my future because um, I'm not going to work. Yeah, According to these people. this person said this to us. Not just you, us. It's been repeated to me a lot more than yeah, you. Yeah, but I'm just saying... Apparently, things. I'm not going to work. Mm. Apparently, I'm going to live off my parents or somebody rich. Apparently, I'm just going to marry into a rich family, which, no shame in that, First I would all, do it. But I would also work This person, get this, this person's 24. They only just started working last year. And no they have the audacity. I know that this is a bit of an over-the-top thing, but it is my show. Ah. Oh. Mine. I'm a guest host. And I just find it a little bit ironic that another person who has been saying this to me, do not say names, do not say age. <laughs> I'm trying to make this as shady as possible. Um, <laughs> had the, like, hypocritical statement that I'm not going, I'm going to live off my parents. How? And they live with their parents still. Yeah. What terrible human beings. 
we're not going that far because I don't think they're <laughs> terrible human beings. What I think has happened is is that one, they're insecure. Two, they do know what for. Three, um, I um, feel like people are jealous somewhat of my confidence. I'm not a 100% confident person. We all, have, we all have insecurities. We're not bringing it into our face. This is generally about me. They have beef with me. I don't know why because I've always been nice to them. You I've always complimented sure. them. I've always told them their work's amazing. They're good actors of what they do. Oops, there's a little bit of a hint of what they do. Um... I've seen their shows. I've been. I've. T- we bought them presents for Christmas. I mean, I've they always been. Presents. They didn't. I've always been nice. One to of these. them did. No, nope, they got. They bought us chocolates. That oh my god! No, they didn't. Yeah, they got given to them. I've always See? been nice to these people. I think they are jealous of me somewhat because they had to join a drama group to feel like they were accepted, <laughs> and I feel like you. You can do that and it can be a form of acceptance and a form of freedom. But unless you fully accept yourself, then who else is going to? You cannot walk around acting like you're a big shot now because you work at 24 years old and then bully a 15 year old for (laughs) not working. One, I'm not legal to work in a place where I want to at the moment. They have no life. They tell me that I need to step into the real world. Well, I've been through more than they have in their years, and I'm not getting into what I've been through. But um, you died. I've been dead. <laughs> um, so um, I just want to say that I have been through more in my 15 years than they'll ever be in their life. And another little point, which they also try to make to me about how I don't know what real life experience is because I don't have a job and I've not been in a relationship and I haven't been cheated on. Well, I think life is a little bit more than being in a relationship and getting a job. I think that's such a small (laughs) factor of life. Yes, in life, it's nice to kind of find someone who loves you. But um, unless you love yourself, who is going to love you? So I'm not even finished. Um, (laughs) I just think it's, it's pushed me over the edge. It's been building up for ages where I've noticed little remarks. It's just like, I'm going to let them slide. Me too. Because they're so... Petty. They're so um, repulsively up themselves <laughs> to the point where they'll tell me that I talk about myself a lot. Yeah. They don't know, sorry for saying this, but they don't know shit about me. They don't know anything really about my life at all. I tell them what they, I want them to know. They don't even know me. They don't even know me. They don't know me. You don't wait there, the tire thing. You don't know me. You don't know where I've been. You don't know how I got to this place. They don't know. They don't. But then. I seriously think no, because all the remarks that they do say to you and I, I sometimes. I you just and I. Me and you. Whatever. It's Bear, more, you're liked by them. It's more you. It is more me. It's more I you. I don't know why. I don't know It's why. always been me or But there is people. remarks to me, and I just feel like one day I'm just going to be like. I'm just going to leave while they're talking to me. The funniest thing I'm going to do a Paris... That... You, you, you know Paris Hilton had that interview? Yeah. And the guy said, do you think Kim could... Have, look, she just takes off the mic and leaves. Look, you won't do that. I... You have, like, the shortest views. I have anger issues, but you have the thing. You'll just go off and... Um, let me think. You know, Nicki Minaj and Mariah Carey's argument on American Idol? I've changed. You're I've Nicki. Changed. I've changed, though. I used to be. I've changed. Um... I am now Mariah Carey. Okay, good for you. Um, but I, if they just said to me and started saying stuff, I'd just start walking away and be like, are you done? Yeah. Are you done? Like that's why I said on are the you done? Yeah. Are you done? Are you done lecturing me about the way I live my life? When, actually, can I just make a funny thing? Because you know who that person who said that, who's 24 years old, told me I'm going to live off my parents, even though I'm 15 years old, it's borderline required. Did they say that or was it another person? It was her. Oops. Another clue. Um, now the the plot the thickens. Plot thickens. <laughs> By the end, the name might be revealed. It won't. No. Um, He's a very they live mean with, person. They live with um, their parents. Yeah. Another person um, who I know who's getting on my nerves. I just want to get this all out because it's been building up, and I feel like it's good to get stress off your chest. Okay. Um, another person who. Um, thinks that they are the kindest person to this planet since Mother Teresa herself just because they like Pet's Facebook page um, <laughs> needs to kind of stop lecturing me about animals if I want to wear fur and certain people that we enjoy I, be quiet, if I want to wear <clears throat> fur and if I want to wear leather and I want to buy a leather couch and it's made of chinchillas I don't care I will walk in I will wear it and I will walk past you <laughs> 
what? Am I just going to be like, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. The animal died, so I'm not going to wear a coat that looks perfectly fine on me. <laughs> People die. I would wear something made of human skin if it made me look good. So would I. I would wear a baby. I would. I'm sorry. So would I. I would. So would I. Let's get that straight. But another thing that is, like, why the hell do people think that just because they listen to rock music, they that they're automatically they're... better than me? I don't know. It's just like not what? just rock music though. Underground rock music. Underground rock. And music. that will piss. <laughs> That's what makes me angry. Rap music people who like rap music who I know they don't argue with me about that. No. They're pretty chill with everything. Yeah. R&B people listen to R&B. They don't argue with me about yeah. how Keisha Cole is going to dethrone gags <laughs> on the chart. Um, Morgan, people... Morgan Keisha Cole will only I'm dethrone joking. an employee in a month at McDonald's. Oh, my God. <laughs> Country music sounds don't come into my face and go, Shania Twain is better than Madonna. They don't. No, they don't. They don't. No. They don't unless they're crazy on the internet. <laughs> um, Which some people down rock music, somewhere. Yeah, they feel like it's in their... They're like, it's their, their blood. mission in life. No, it's their mission in life. It's their mission in life to prove that just because they hanged out at that skate park one time, <laughs> that they are better than everybody else. And it's just like, oh, cool. Do you drink a slushy without the ice because, you know, it got too cool for you? <laughs> um, so... And I'm sick and tired. You're making a lot of points with the Lego movie made. I, thank you. Well, I am a Lego figure. Um... <laughs> I'm th I think I'm he sick. Is. I'm sick and tired in general because it's been happening to me since I was like ten years old. Why the hell should you be able to judge me just because I love Britney Spears and Miley Cyrus? That is nothing to do with why you should judge me. Mm. Unless I love I've Miley. killed someone yeah. or they've killed someone, then you can't judge them. Well, they could have done something else. Bad though. It's <laughs> not bad. Yeah, what? I know. And then what if they got arrested? None of them have got arrested. I haven't no, been arrested. No, and I love Miley so much. And these people, and the thing is, these people come up to me just talking about how they don't like her when I'm not even talking about I her. I said to somebody once, I said, they said that, and it was uh, the person I was talking to about in the beginning, <laughs> they made a little Facebook status and thought I wasn't going to see. And they said... They shaded um, us. They, d they shaded me, if we're being realistic. I shared the thing you like it, so they basically shared it. Like, and Boo. then... And then you went in. I went in. I um, went in. And I, did. I did. I went in so bad that I blocked the person and they blocked me and their friend had to jump in. You went in after I went in. Um, the friends. The okay, friends. can I please say something? Come they on. made a status. Let's go back to the status. They said, I'm sick, um, sick and tired of the Miley Cyrus post. Gotta start hiding the posts. Couldn't you have done that without making a status? I know. Nobody would have known. You stupid... I was the one who made the first comment. I wasn't. I screenshotted everything. I said, oh. I detect shade. And I said, but thank you for keeping her relevant. Then I said, I agree with if you. If you hate her so much, why are you talking about yeah. her? Yeah, that's getting her more dollars. And if you dislike me for my music tastes... That's no reason to dislike someone. It isn't. It's incredibly retarded. But then again, let people do what they want. They can grind on you their know, own look, hustle. Me and DJ... Like he doesn't like the Dark Knight Rises, I like the Dark Knight Rises, but we still get on with each other. It's because film fans don't deal with this. No, TV don't. fans don't deal with it. Look, music taste no, is like I the can't. biggest. It's not. It's not. It's the second worst. I would actually say that sports fans are worst. Yeah. They are the pits of hell when they get into <laughs> an argument. I have seen people throw drinks at each other. Then again, I threw a drink at somebody because I shaded Britney, so I've done that as well. I know. I think there was someone who he went undercover as like a Chelsea supporter and he tried to get, and he was really like a Man United supporter. They beat him almost to death. Anyways, I think that <laughs> I've got it all off of my chest somewhat, most of it, like 80%, 90% of it actually. Mm -hmm. um, I've not revealed the names. I'm not going to reveal the names. If you're listening, I'm sure you figured it out by now. Yeah. Um, and if you don't stop doing this to me, um, then get out my face because if you don't, I will throw my water in your face. Um, and, I will throw and, my, I, and I will throw my cook in the face. And I am <laughs> done with indie pretentious bitches. And to conclude Bye. this, it this was, is, and it, it was not Jennifer's fault. <laughs>